Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and in my hands is Hip Monkey. Bullets and Bananas from Marvel. Yeah, it's a monkey hitman. I, I don't know how to, I don't know what to, to describe this. It's a crazy concept, and somehow it really works. Uh, collects a whole bunch of different series from uh, 2010 and 2008. So there's Hit Monkey number one that was like a one shot they came out, and then there's Hit Monkey number one through three. Both came out in 2010. It's kind of fascinating. Uh, and then 19 through 21 of Deadpool 2008 by Daniel Way, uh, a bunch of artists. Let's go get uh, those artists. Go give them credit. Dalibor Talajik, uh, Matt Hollingsworth, uh, or Dalibor Talajik is the artist. Matt Hollingsworth, the colorist. Jeff Eckleberry is the letter. Frank Cho did the cover for the Hit Monkey one shot. Uh, the number one through three, Dalibor Talajik uh, did the art, and Jose uh, Villarubia did the colorist as well as Tal uh, as, or the colorist along with Talajik. Josephino's letter, Dave Johnson did the cover uh, for the Deadpool. Carlo Barberi is the penciler, Sandu Floria, and Juan Velasco are the inkers. Marty Gracia is the colorist, Josephino's the letter. Jason Pearson did the cover for that. Uh, so as I said, so Hit Monkey is a concept of there's this assassin winds up in this group of monkeys who winds up bringing uh, taking him in uh, his um, his soul or whatever you want to call it kind of gets um, their ghost is starts kind of haunting or takes over hit monkey helps hit monkey who becomes an assassin yeah so the hit monkey one shot covers that origin it's 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 solid it's actually really really good I remember reading it in 2010 going into it very skeptical thinking it's the dumbest thing known to man uh, and, and really, really enjoying it. And then there's the miniseries with Hitmonkey versus Bullseye. Yep, Hitmonkey fights Bullseye. Um, some solid action, really interesting in the fact that it's a monkey as your protagonist, so not exactly a whole lot of, uh, of words coming out of him. Uh, so it, it gets a really interesting read. And then, of course, Deadpool, which uh, featured Hitmonkey, and I'm not the biggest Deadpool fan. This is, seemed to be kind of like a proto-Deadpool Spider-Man. Um, I don't remember reading that originally, but I know I've got Hit Monkey and then the mini series up in single uh, uh, issues in our uh, our archive. So um, it it still holds up. I mean, it is an insane concept. It's really goofy, but it works. It's an entertaining read. If you like the idea of a monkey running around killing people with guns, John Wick style. I mean, this is John Wick before John Wick existed. A monkey in a suit. That's quite a. This is this would be proto John Wick if John Wick was a monkey. And there's nothing about a dog though. Technically, the human gets killed, so he's doing revenge for the human, and um, so it's still sort of John Wickish. I'm going. John Wick stole the concept of John Wick from Hit Monkey. No idea if that's true. I don't think it's true. Um, the art is solid. Like the the artist is pretty solid at work. Is uh, lots of action, um, over the top style. We'll get to where uh, how monkey just starts like killing people left and right. Yeah, I think that kind of sums it up right there. That that three panel uh, work right there. I guess four panels technically. Um, let's go with some some of the other art. scene. I, I remember this panel when I originally read it. Um, it that's, sticks out. Uh, and then, of course, the Deadpool art is very, very different uh, from everything else. As I said, like, if you love the idea of a monkey running around with guns killing people, go for it. Uh, so, as far as extras, it's got covers and some unfinished pencils, or uncolored pencils, I really should say. It's not really unfinished, but uncolored. And... It's like a pretty great cover. It's not tons of extras, but you know, generally kind of what you'd expect. It's just, it's just how'd you not buy that when it came out on the uh, on the shelves? That was that was all about my uh, purchase. Um, so it's out in comic shops now. Nineteen ninety nine gets all those issues right there. That's four what seven issues. Nineteen ninety nine out in comic shops now. will be out in bookstores fairly soon. But go support your comic shop and go get it. Uh, as I said, goofy concept, but totally works. Uh, if you want to go get it at a counter shop, there's a link beneath this video. Put it in your zip code. It'll tell you if a shop near you. No shop, no problem. We've got some affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we get a small percentage of that. By doing that, you help support our site. So thank you. Uh, and speaking of support, I want to thank uh, Marvel for opening us up with this review copy. We always appreciate it, and thank you for watching. Now, if you're into monkeys with guns, Marvel, comics in general, me pontific pontificating about John Wick, I guess, 
Uh, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr. All that graphic policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.